We got lots to talk about today. Good oh morning. God. Welcome to the Opie and Anthony Show. Hi, peoples. Hi, got- peoples. I got I got to uh, admit to Anthony that huh? uh, I'm finally in on this uh, Zimmerman thing, dude. It took a while, but I'm finally in. I'm all in. Matter of fact, you know, as long as uh, Rachel Jantel or Jean- Jantel Jantel Rachel Jantel, uh, what? She sassy. What? She sassy. I had to come back here for you, for you, for you. Wow, I'm in. I made popcorn yesterday. It was so damn good. <laughs> I can only imagine the court stenographer in the fetal position in a shower after that, <laughs> that <laughs> trial, just washing, saying, I can't wash Scrubbing it all. really hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking arthritic fingers. Right. They're talking to Roland. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I also, I also, I also know, I, well, I, I understand what you go through a little bit. Oh, Jesus. Because I don't have, obviously, you know, people know, I don't have a, a strong opinion on this case. Sure. Like you. I mean, you're, you're certainly uh, carrying us through this. I'm in it, of course, for the, uh, you know, the self-defense thing, the, the gun issues. Um, uh, and, and there are some, some racial issues that I think come into play here, some hypocrisies that I like pointing out. This is so all in your wheelhouse, I'm in there. Sir. Right, exactly. But uh, I'm 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 now uh, I'm now in. But you know I try to make a couple little jokes and then they sure. come, they, wow they come after you. You can't joke about these people. And then I decided not to go back at them like you do. I was oh, like, oh yeah, God. I, I'm all in. Because I've also made the George Zimmerman fat joke. So it's like, oh, of course. But if you make a joke, then they think, oh okay, that means you're for this. I'm like, yeah. I, no, I'm just making jokes. I'm trying to just try to make a joke or two. You know, uh, the one thing that got a lot of people pissed on my Twitter yesterday, I said, I would love to know what she's thinking about while she makes believe she knows how to read. (laughs) And people will write this, you know, with the dramatic fucking arrows or bullshit this. Racist. Oh, I got that, too. Of course you're racist. I'm like, you're trying to tell me that this broad knows how to read. You're a crazy person. It was so obvious she was, like, making believe she knew how to read up there. This, of course, is Rachel Jantel. This is the uh, girl. The star witness. The star witness for the prosecution. The girl that was on the phone with Trayvon Martin um, when there was some type of altercation between Trayvon and uh, well, some friend, Zimmerman. Some French uh, she is because oh, yeah. she doesn't. She's wait, she thinks she's wasting her time. She doesn't want to be there. If you're such a friend of Trayvon Martin and you're helping to get justice for Trayvon Martin. You sit your ass down there and you don't get all pissed off because it's taking too long. She didn't know that uh, that George Zimmerman hadn't been arrested. She didn't uh, uh, attempt to contact the police department. She's the last person to speak to him. She didn't attempt to contact the police. She didn't attempt to contact the uh, family. She. Th- this is a friend. She didn't go to the wake. She didn't go to the funeral. She lied about where she was. She lied about her age at the time. She uh, had an interview with uh, uh, ABC News. All this is the star witness. And wrapped up in a package of ignorance and belligerence and contempt for for everything that's going on in that courtroom, That, that, that you've got to imagine a jury watching this uh, woman testify mm. is disgusted with her attitude in this whole thing. Oh, my God. And um, um, it, it, it com- she's completely impeachable as far as her credibility goes. A- and a jury has to look at this and be like, "I this is their star witness. She's the one we're supposed to base what the last moments of Trayvon's life were, were like. And we can't. I, we can't believe her. I was just looking at it as pure comedy. Exactly. I was, I, oh, my I, I God. I couldn't believe what I was uh, watching. Oh. I couldn't believe it. With that sliver of tar paper on the front of her head <laughs> as a hairdo. <laughs> it looked like what they put under shingles. <laughs> why, was, why was she wearing a neck pillow in court? That's oh a little weird. <laughs> that fucking neck pillow. What is that? Why was she wearing that? You couldn't understand what she was saying. And then... She's a star. Oh, man. The fucking, she is a star today. Why so is she the, in the paper? They, they buried it why a little bit. Do you think why would they bury it? it? I saw... Star witness on the stand. Why would they bury it? They buried it a little it? bit. It's buried in one of the papers. I finally saw, you know... And uh, and, and the, the, the mainstream media, as far as headline news goes, and, and fucking uh, MSNBC, and uh, fucking... What's her name? Oh, my God. Oh, uh, which one? Tell me.
the fucking uh, Mad Al. No, no, Miko, Miko, no uh, crying pissy fucking bitch. Wait, uh, Paula Dean. No. Wait, I, I I tapped out for a second. Nancy Grace, thank oh, you. Oh, Nancy Grace. Fuck. Okay. Nancy Grace. The Wolverine. They fucking all of them are like, she was real. She was authentic. Oh my god, no. It, it, it's like no, she was a terrible, terrible witness. She could be the worst witness I've ever seen. I've watched many cases that were well, these high profile cases. She could possibly <laughs> be the worst witness I've ever seen sorry, in my life. Sorry. I know. I'm laughing because I put a picture no, up of I'm her laughing because what Jimmy tweeted last night. <laughs> Because we got a picture on one of our wow. screens right now. That is, I can't. It's yeah. your thing. I can't do it. She, she. <laughs> it's fucking Patrice. It's it's Patrice. It's, it's not just like wow, Patrice is a big black guy. She's a fat black girl. Right. She looks like Patrice she O'Neill. Has like a fa the face. It's the lip. It's the it's the, fa it's it's the like eyes. The, everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The ornery expression. And That's, she was making the faces. She was curling her nose up and yeah. looking like mm, like Patrice used mm, to do. Mm. That's Patrice as a tranny. If man. he was here, I, I just I've never wanted him to be alive. So just so I could sit next to him and look at her picture and just point yeah. at him and point at her. <laughs> yeah, yeah, would be huh? Ah, look at you! He too. would enjoy that. He would he enjoy. He would have loved this. He would enjoy how much she looked like him, uh. <laughs> <laughs> and he would get it. <laughs> he'd, he'd pop the picture up. He'd be like, ah! <laughs> "Oh no, no!" Well, he was, oh, oh no! Because he would see the, he would see the case going up in smoke. Yeah. And go, oh no! <laughs> At least it was made clear that uh, that wasn't Trayvon Martin's girlfriend. Yeah, God, no, it's no. bad enough that you're you're not walking around this earth anymore. But you, I oh. I don't think you want the world to to think that you're yeah that that's... dating that. There was so much going on, so many subtleties and so many in your face things going on with this witness uh, yesterday. Uh, she was absolutely. Uh, uh, incoherent you couldn't understand the lawyers had to ask her excuse me excuse me and each time she repeated herself she got more and more angry and belligerent she but she wasn't understandable as a witness uh listening to the defense attorneys read back her statements from the deposition right. in authentic jive right <laughs> hey, hey. it was unbelievable hey we got a lot of interns around here sam roberts could we get someone to uh hit up the twitter feed uh rachel jean jontel put that in the search yeah. not not from our listeners get the older ones from yesterday please uh -huh. I, I need just a i just need a smattering of of tweets about her because yeah, they yeah. were all over the place they really were some of them, I, I couldn't believe that uh, people were watching the same thing I was watching. Get the good ones, the bad ones, the sideways ones. Just a little little sample, if you will. Page Please. Nine, why is she page 19 in the paper? I'll tell you why. The, she was embarrassing as a witness. The, the media's whole take on this is they need the prosecution to look like... They are are fucking knocking it out of the park. Right. That that Trayvon Martin was killed, um, unarmed teen killed by Big Bad George Zimmerman, um, unprovoked. He was chased down. That her testimony was a flop for the prosecution, and uh, you know if she was a, a, a an articulate woman who got on the stand and tore this case up like the star witness was supposed to, she'd be on the front page right now. Mm. She'd be on the front fucking page right now. But she came off as, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I, I thought she was retarded. I absolutely thought there was something wrong with her mentally, and she had some form of, of retardation. Well, see, people are defending her already on, on our phones. She's from Haiti. What, she, hasn't been in the, she hasn't been in the country too long. What? She did get me with one thing, though. Like when she lied about why she went to the hot, didn't go to the wake, mm -hmm. and said she, she was in the hospital because she felt guilty and she couldn't look at the body. That made me sad. I believed her. Perhaps completely. that was really miserable testimony. Perhaps. That's the only part. That's the only part I liked yeah. her in was there. Mm -hmm. I felt bad for her at that moment. I'm like, you know, you just well, feel the, like the, the the. But the caring uh, part of it is is discounted by everything else she's done. It's it and and this this attitude of I want to get out of the court when you see Trayvon's father face plant into his own hand shaking his head at her testimony he's looking and 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 the mother is just wide-eyed staring at her during her testimony the father is shaking his head he put his hand over his his brow and he's shaking his head like i can't believe 
This is the woman that the prosecution has said is going to bring you know justice to my child. Right. They couldn't believe it. And, and she doesn't even care about the justice. She's she was no. bothered that she was even there. She didn't want to. She didn't she want to show up. Basically saying, how much longer is this going to take? I ain't coming back tomorrow. And when the defense attorney said, you know, uh, Your Honor, we're going to need another. You know, we should recess <laughs> until tomorrow. Uh, we're we're going to need another two hours on this. You heard her go, ah, oh, ah. Oh. No, she went, what, what, like two hours, what? And, and the judge had to even say, hey, hey. <laughs> We don't discuss this shit. When is she back on the stand? Nine o'clock. All right. This the morning. show ends today at nine o'clock. <laughs> no shit. Um, well, I, 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 I watched it. We I watched. got some clips. Let's just go through some clips. Oh, yeah, please. We, uh, we got some highlights of uh, Rachel Jantel's uh, testimony there. She's nowhere to be found in the fucking papers. It's, it's the astounding. star witness for the prosecution, the one who's talking to him, is nowhere to be found. The because biggest case is... I mean, and then when you see uh, when 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 George Zimmerman, there were allegations that he was chasing a uh, down Trayvon. Wow. Allegations that he used the word coon that was totally dispelled uh, uh, after they went through the tapes. But all that was on the front fucking page. Page twenty-two, page. page nineteen, and page twenty-two for the Star Wars. Anyone that doesn't think that the media is is the, fucking in on it somehow, exactly. you're blind. Because they can't have a real conversation about they what they just saw. Unbelievable. That, you can't talk like we're talking about this broad no no yeah you do you saw what happens on twitter i must have been called a racist fucking 50 times at least last night getting into nothing but factual discussions the post is still calling her a girlfriend <laughs> this is the media they they made it clear it wasn't trayvon's girlfriend get off get off and this is her picture with 12 year old trayvon's picture in the circle 12 -year -old last words trayvon. of trayvon martin said in a call to girlfriend rachel jantel before his phone cut and out. And that wasn't the last words. She, wow. She, there was all kinds of speculation as to who she heard. The deposition, in the deposition, she said, uh, it might be Trayvon. And then they asked her, they reiterated, you know, who is that on the phone? Wait, uh, it might have been. Right. It might have been Trayvon. And then she gets on the right. stand and goes, it was Trayvon. And then the defense attorney goes, oh, let's look back at your deposition where you said, it might have been. See? They can't even get the the, the basic the facts right. Yeah, they say girlfriend. The, the papers are horrendous. They're despicable, man. They get shit wrong every they fucking will, day. They will stick to the initial thing. There, There's no further investigation to it. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, George Zimmerman was not on a neighborhood watch that night. He was a neighborhood watch guy, but he was, he was taking his car to Target. He was getting in well, his car and leaving to go to Target. Well, let's get, let's get the audio on because yeah. it's terrific. There's some real comedy here today, oh my please. God. After he said that, what did you say anything back to him, or did he say anything back to you? Yes, I asked him how the man looked like. And he just told me the man, the man looked creepy. And he said the man looked creepy. Creepy white. Okay. Excuse my language, cracker. Okay, and what did you say? Creepy white what? He said, excuse my English, cracker. It's a creepy white, excuse my English, cracker. Oh. She, yeah, yeah. She dropped the N-bomb, too, right? Yeah, yeah, because... Uh, dropped some N-bombs, but uh, they they dumped out of that on CNN. Did uh, they really? Oh, yeah. They dumped it on CNN? They all were beeping sudden, her saying cracker. Yeah, all of a sudden... They bleeped her saying cracker. All of a sudden, they, they would just cut the audio. And I was like, oh, they're having a problem with the feed. Oh, I didn't even know at, at first. God. It's I didn't standard. even know at first. That's why I go with You're just... the fucking news, you stupid <clears throat> fox. Oh, my God. And I, you're allowed to have uh, any word you want on your on, on your uh, network. How There's a pure internet it? feed you got to go with. No uh, news I had no idea carrying that, it. I, I, I just thought they were having technical uh, difficulties yeah. at first. Wow. That's all I found out later on. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. They bleep it out, and then they were bleeping the fact that Trayvon... You know, uh, they, they try to pin uh, a lot of racism on, on George Zimmerman, the fact that he's like, oh, he's a black man. Remember when the news, NBC, edited his recording to yeah. make it sound like he just blurted out he's a black man trying to be uh, make him as a racist? Uh, well, Trayvon sees this guy who he assumes is white, and he's like, oh, this crazy-ass cracker. Fucking... A racist. Yeah, the only one hey, that said racist, racist stuff was Trayvon Martin. Was Trayvon. On the phone. Mm. It's the only one on the phone that was saying racist stuff. Oh, he said coon. No, he said it was cold. And, and they proved that. And then Trayvon is like, oh, racist death crack. Oh, this nigga's still following me. They're like, it's, it's all, all this shit. All right. Back to Rachel. 
Okay. And what did you say? Okay. They're having trouble hearing you, so mm. take your time. Creepy ass. Or just looking at him. Oh. Okay. And I, I know you grew up in a Haitian family, so make sure that everybody can hear you try to speak as clear. And, and... Okay. So, um, can you can you read? They're blaming her horrible English on the fact that she grew up uh, in a in a Haitian, Haitian. family. Haitian. And then uh, this was another great thing I saw. A lot of black people tweeting last night saying that uh, the defense uh, was. Uh, was uh, s saying they couldn't hear her on purpose, even though they could completely understand her, to make her look bad. Well, because people are assholes. <laughs> but I can't, you no, couldn't understand no, her. No, well, people are assholes, too, because yeah. you could hear the feet on TV, but in the uh -huh. courtroom, it's a whole different world. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stenographer couldn't hear her. Right. That We're, was a stenographer. And, and the stenographer is, is pretty much sitting right next to her. Uh -huh. But she's mic'd, obviously, for the, for the broadcast. Yeah. So people like uh, at home are so stupid. They're thinking, "Oh, I, I can hear every word she's saying." Uh huh. But the, but she's pretty much whispering in the courtroom. Yeah. Repeat what your answer was, please. Creepy ass. Um. Which is what's the question? The question was your your aunt, They want you to repeat your answer when you said what you asked him. What I asked him how the man looked like. He looked like a creepy ass crap. Okay. Now you make sure we got that creepy uh, ass. ass. I had asked the man yes. look like. I had asked the man look like. Mean like a, a white individual? Yes. Okay. Isn't it crazy? What did you say to him, or what did he say to you after that? So he kept he told me the man was looking at him. So I had to think it might have been a rapist. And you know, area, it might have been a rapist. Yeah. But they're they're dumping out. They're the news. And I, it's I don't know a white guy. I, I don't know one white guy that gets mad at the word cracker. cracker. So so who's who's getting bothered by that language? Any word, by the way, that's said in this context of a news broadcast of a live trial that's going on, you shouldn't bleep anything. Of I don't care if it's cracker, nigger, anything Nothing. should not be fucking bleeped in, in this context. How can you say that any word can't be used in the context of a trial? A murder trial. A murder trial. Right. A, a, a live with, broadcast of a murder trial. Where oh! you want to see all the information. I get it. Ah. I get it. Oh. Because it was Trayvon saying it. Oh, right. It doesn't look good for the narrative. Right. But it's funny. They played Kuhn a lot when oh they thought God. Zimmerman said it. Right. Remember that? On the news, they were like... Over and over. Let's play it again. Let's play it again. Let's play it again. Oh, what are you hearing there? Is that cool? Oh, that's cool. I hear it. Oh, it could be something else. They analyzed it. Now the second it's like, well, what did Trayvon say? Oh, he said, you know, crazy ass crack. Crazy. Cut it out. Cut it out. Yeah. It's exhausting. Interesting, though, it's exhausting how they left they it in right. when it was supposedly Zerman. Uh-huh. All right. She explains wow. why she didn't go to the funeral. The star witness. The funeral? Why I didn't go to the viewer? The awakening. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to see the body. Mm -hmm. I did agree with my friend Oliver to go. You got to understand. In order... It's you got to understand. Mm -hmm. did, you you did... the last person to talk to the person mm -hmm. and he died on the phone. After you taught them, you got to understand what I'm trying to tell you. I'm the last person. You don't know how I felt. You think I really want to go see the body after I just talked to him? I understand what you're saying, but what you did instead was instead of saying... I did not even know he was out. I did not even watch the news. I don't watch the news. I heard there was on the media. There was on local news. I did not know about that. Okay. I knew that it was emotionally difficult for you to decide whether or not to go to the memorial service. Yes. And you decided not to. I decided not to go. Sure. And then what you did in order to explain that hmm. to Ms. Fulton and then to Mr. Delarianda under oath was that you created a lie and <laughs> said that you'd gone to the hospital. Yes. Yep. Mm. 
<clears throat> a lot of, a lot of, a lot of fucking fib, a lot of fibbing on her part. But well, you gotta understand. Uh, she starts getting annoyed. This is where it got good. Oh, she starts getting a little annoyed at the. Uh, She's pretty much had it. This is taking a little too long, and she has her court nails on and everything, and she uh, she, she won't get out on she, the town. She wants out of there now. There was a tweet uh, that she made saying, uh, "Oh, I got my court nails on." She's very happy with her manicure, uh, and she got her court nails on. They deleted that from her string of um, tweets that they had deleted the day before uh, she testified, because there were a lot of tweets of uh, inappropriate things, her drinking, smoking weed, things like that. So, yeah. So what you are saying is that, indeed, what you told Mr. Crump in this recorded interview, that what George Zimmerman said in response to him saying, what you following me or why you following me, George Zimmerman said, what are you talking about? Oh, that's what you're talking about? No. Karen, I think we'll have to address the recording itself. Um, I, I that? had told you. Are you listening? Yes, ma'am. I had told you what happened to me in Crump interview. I had rush on it. Are you listening? One more time. I'm sorry. I was distracted. Oh. You told me what? He's that doing right it on there, purpose. Right there, he's absolutely fucking. <laughs> he's doing it on absolutely purpose. He knows, annoying her. He knows he's got her, and he knows he's that her. if he, uh, you know, continues, she's gonna fucking lose it a little bit. You want, you want that moment that the movies have, the the, the lawyer TV shows, right. where the lawyer gets the fucking right. person on the stand so upset that they explode, they do something that the jury looks at and goes, oh boy. I'm telling you, today might be different though, because today, she, last night, they probably prepped her and said, oh, look, I he's bet. doing this on purpose. He's trying to get you upset. She's, I, she's unpreppable though. Yeah, I strongly disagree with Jimmy. They're, they're they're certainly sitting her down and discussing everything, but yeah. she's gonna blow it today. Maybe I for the it. maybe for the first few minutes. Right, but she she doesn't have it in her to. She to doesn't. Keep calm. You're right. She ha doesn't have it in her to fucking. There'll prep. be more of this today. It'll the, take a while. The second she gets pissed, she's gonna start mm, doing that sassy thing. Mm, mm. If she's up there for two hours, she's gonna she'll she'll have oh, an attitude. Making soup in those pants, <laughs> sitting there. I'm just hoping they they make her try to read. Oh my God, please! When she was doing that, and you know they're like, trying to figure out how to do that without making it obvious that they were kind of. <laughs> oh, they just gotta throw the deposition at her and say, "Well, I want you to review this." Oh, yeah, oh, well, that's well, great. Well, she was reviewing it, but it was so oh. obvious she doesn't know how to read. No, and then they would ask her questions opinion. about what she supposedly just reviewed, right? And she had no clue, right? It's like, well, you just read your deposition, right? She's not she she can't read. <laughs> This is a great Are witness to watch. One more time. I'm sorry I was distracted. You told me what? I had told you during the interview between me and Crump, I had rushed on it. And before that interview, I had told him mom if they have any, if the officer wanted to talk to me, they could talk to me to know exactly what happened. And I had told you that on the depot. And I had told you, and they said it right there, I rushed on it. I had told you I rushed on it. When you say you rushed on it, mean you hadn't thought it through carefully to be sure that you. I just told it. That you, that you told Trayvon through. Park. Listen, you told Trayvon Park. Are you saying that you rushed through it and you didn't think about it carefully enough to be sure that you told it accurately? Yes. Oh yes. man. Yes. She's getting. She's starting to tap on the fucking, yeah. the the fucking wood in front of her. Oh boy. How, how do you stop? I'm becoming consumed with rage for the press. Like, oh, like it, it's, it's all I can think of. Absolutely, when I think of our country. We've known this for years. I know, but I can't. It's, it's almost like, but I can't even think anymore. It's so infuriating. I, they're so fucking hateable. Yeah, I started down this road, and when we got when we got fired, and how they just reported everything completely wrong, wrong. with us, and then that opened my stupid eyes. I was like, whoa! If they're if they're getting <sighs> our dumb stuff wrong, what else are they getting wrong mm -hmm. out there? Everything and, apparently. And I've been pretty much obsessed with it since. Yeah. God, that's fucking terrible. I guess they because you get the base, you, they can't even get the basic shit right in the paper or on the on the news. You believe growing up that they're right, and I guess that's what it is. It's mm. like how well you believe they are unbiased or too. At least trying to be honest, right? Yeah. Like you don't think that they're fucking liars? Like they're liars. Oh yeah, they're complete liars. They're fucking liars. They and have I, a story. They have a narrative. They have a, a a case that they want 
to go the way they want it to go, what makes the better story. And they will lie and just b completely fabricate shit, twist things around in order for it to be what uh, they want it to be. They want a white guy to have shot an unarmed black child over nothing but his overzealousness and racism. That's what they want. Anything that deviates from that, they will twist around and try to fit it into that narrative. And the more that comes out that proves that isn't the case, they just eliminate they it. They bury they it. They bury it on fucking pages of the newspaper. They bury it in, they in their broadcast. In the so they lie about they it. They lie. That's how. That's the fucking world we're in, as far as what. The news is telling you, people. Mm. So, you know, do your own fucking research or or be an, an ignorant, uninformed puppet of, of these uh, news agencies. More importantly, um, she got annoyed because she has to come back today. Oh, she certainly did. I was kind of bummed out they stopped it. Mm. I think it was a mistake, actually. I think you should have kept going. I was because, all uh, Kept going. She'll be prepared today. Not as good as she needs to be, right, but right. way better than she... He had her off guard last night. And you should have kept going. I think this defense attorney is good. But I also think he's kind of a fucking dummy, and that knock-knock joke is an insight into his instincts, which are not amazing. Not good instincts. No. No. Not amazing. No. Can we break for the day, Judge? Any objections? Well, I'd like to continue, but I, I defer to the court. But how, much, like how much more time do you think that you need to finish your cross? Well, I certainly wouldn't. I don't know for sure. I would think we should plan on at least a couple of hours. What? <laughs> um, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to break for the evening. Um, everybody still remain seated. What? Um, including you, Miss Gentile, please remain seated. She's ready to get out. Yeah, the the one the one clip we missed was when she said. Um, He's for you? It. Oh, you got it. Oh, where she, it is. is it the one where she's uh, where they said, "Are you refusing to come back?" That one. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, hit, hit that. Take as much time as you want. Read the whole thing if you want. Or maybe we can break until the morning if that. Was no. Mm -hmm. I'm leaving down today. What's that? I'm, I'm leaving today. No. Nope. I'm leaving today. Are you refusing to come back tomorrow? To you? Are you refusing okay, to uh, come? We need to keep this a question and answer about her testimony. Any other matters dealing with scheduling, I, I will make that decision. Oh, yeah, the judge. She was right. If the judge was right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Are you, are you refusing to come back yeah, tomorrow? But it's really, is like, nah, nah. But it's, yeah, it's not in my court, motherfuckers. But it's really bad that she's bothered that she's in court. She's that, terrible, dude. You gotta. Uh, oh and, my god, she's gonna be eaten alive today. And here's what it is: I you can wait for this shit. You today. can think, you can think of her intent, the reason why she's uh, upset being there, why she doesn't want to be there, all that. You can speculate, speculate, speculate all you want about that. The only thing that matters in this case is what the jury sees and thinks and how it will affect their decision. When they see the prosecution star witness and this attitude that she doesn't even want to be there, uh, her, her testimony is so just lackadaisical about what happened and, and you know, you know, yeah, I'll tell you, but you know what? I'd rather not even be here. Oh, these lawyers, this, the court, the judge. That It doesn't make the jury go, wow. What she said, yeah, I really got to consider that. It's insane. Mm. Well, there you go. There you go. Yeah, it was yeah. a busy uh, news day yesterday. My God. Oh my goodness. I just can't wait till uh, I'm gonna watch a little more of her later on. I, watch the news feed though, yeah. the, the, dude. I didn't know they dumped out of it. You just played that ruined I my day. Oh, it's that it's, ruined my fucking day. I didn't know until after the fact. I really thought they might be having uh, technical problems while she was up there. But that's why they did it. There yeah. are a lot of live feeds of this uh, case uh, when when you just put in well, Zimmerman trial live, and there's a bunch of links. Some of them are news sites, though. Like there's the NBC affiliate in uh, Florida, right? And they have the the feed from the courtroom, and they talk over it. They Look. they put graphics. They do things like that. And then there's just the raw fucking video feed. That's the one to watch if you don't want to, you know, see those cuts. This is what, this is what I would say. It's too late for you know network TV. It's oh, yeah. too late. They're they're long Done. gone. They're they're fucking crazy people. They're yep. fucking ridiculous. The internet has a great opportunity here, but you see that time and time again, they're going the way of the networks, and they're starting to they're starting to bleep out their feeds or pixelating crazy. a fucking nipple or or what have you. 
No need. You're 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 the place to go right now. Yeah. Because people are fed up. So it's, don't make the same mistakes they made. Yep. It's kind of like sort of what's going on here a little bit. Yeah. You know, we we satellite radio is way ahead of regular radio. You got to search it out, find uh, the good stuff. But don't make the same mistakes. People no, do want will. a raw feed of this. They always will. Well, but you know, it's amazing. You see the sites going the same way. They're like, "Oh boy, we could, yeah, our 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 mm. uh, our website, we can't have that either. We can't. We have advertisers now and they might be offended. <laughs> Somebody might be offended." Of Apple TV works great too. You have an Apple TV with the computer. You you get uh, the feed up and then you just pop it up. I, I was watching it on my big Yay. screen. Hey, good morning, Thank Jackie. You, Jackie. Good morning. Wow, this is perfectly placed. Oh, oh look. Oh, that's not I look at Oh, you picked the right font and everything. Thank you. Oh, what good oh, good font choices Yay. is right. Look at Copy your little hat today. You look so pretty. I always like an intern in a hat. I think that yeah, makes yeah, the day yeah. go better for everyone. Could you throw that hat up in the air and say, We're going to make it after all. <laughs> now you guys are singing together when they come what? in. <laughs> well, she's got the Mary Tyler Moore hat, and she's a you know small town girl in the big city oh, trying to make it. Yes. Yes. She dropped oh, it right there. I could just look down and read Living it. Living in New York City for the summer. Perfect. Perfect. That's right. With Perfect her Mary Tyler job. Moore hat. Perfect. This kid's good. Tweets uh, for Rachel Jantel. Ra Rachel Jantel didn't lie to cover up evidence. She lied because she couldn't deal with pain. That's nothing to be shameful about. <sighs> People... And let me tell you, the, 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 uh, uh, down racial lines, the difference between opinions and uh, what, what people think about uh, this case down racial lines is astounding. Uh, Every person that has bitched at me about even just sp spelling out facts on this case uh, has 90% uh, of them are black people all right, well, that are mad at me. Well, here's a, a, a black lady, her tweet. Pray for Rachel Jantel. She needs strength and wisdom. We can't offer her strength. And wisdom we can't offer her. Uplift her. Don't tear her apart. Then not Charles Barkley, which is a great uh, Twitter account to follow. <clears throat> Lawyer, we need her for a few more hours tomorrow. Rachel Jantel, ain't nobody got time for that. Time for that. <laughs> oh, Lord, it's a flower. <laughs> Big Daddy, it looks like a black guy, he writes, uh, she just snapped on the attorney. I'm through. Rachel Jantel is the realest person on earth right now. Real? This isn't a fucking movie, people. <laughs> this isn't some movie where the sassy black girl gets in there and gives a what, a what of it to the fucking lawyers. This is a guy's life hanging in the balance on a murder charge. She's the star prosecution witness. This isn't just... the. She, this isn't the girl that played Precious. Right. That, no matter how much you want to think it is, that ain't her. This isn't an you uplifting know, movie where at the end uh, everything works out. I'm surprised no one made the connection that Precious... <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, right? <laughs> you know, no one tweeted that she no looked one tweeted like, that. like Precious. <laughs> oh, they did, Ann. Wow, did they? I must have missed all of those. <laughs> if you're not the first one in with that, <laughs> yeah. just stop. If you're tweeting that two hours after she's been on TV... Yeah, if uh, she's on the stand for five really, minutes, <laughs> right. just don't bother. If you're, if you're one of the first ones in, fine, but... There was a good one last night. Yeah, somebody said she looked like Bismarcky. Yeah, <laughs> see? That made me... There you go with the one. twist. Uh, black girl writes on Twitter yesterday, Twitter thugs harassing Rachel Jantel. To me, or... Wait, uh, oh, uh, Twitter thugs harassing Rachel Jantel, to me, are no better than George Zimmerman. She didn't cause this or choose this. Oh, boy... You harass her because it, it it was completely out of the ordinary. She's a terrible witness. It was out of the or was it out of the ordinary? I don't even fucking know. All I know is she came off as very ignorant, uh, uneducated. She came off as uneducated. How the fuck is she going into the twelfth grade? How did she? Even though she's eighteen, going into the twelfth grade next year, mm. uh, how did she get through all of those years of school? Passed along when she does not even have a command of the English language. Well, we got Rachel. Uh, she's calling our show right now. And I just checked the area code. This is legit. Oh, wow. Rachel Chantel from Florida. What's up? You can't handle the motherfucking truth. <laughs> oh, is that a... <laughs> you seem nicer today. A few good men right there. That's right on. A few on. good men. Uh, here's another one. Yeah. But Rachel Chantel is brave and real. Shame on anyone who makes fun or criticize her. Support her. Love her. No. Why? 
she came across as a, as a a dummy that was frustrated that she had to be there for her quote friend. Yes. What are you talking oh, about? Oh, that's the only way to see this one. Oh, yeah. she's nineteen. Yeah, she's nineteen going into the twelfth grade. That's that's wonderful. Look, man, we all know someone that got left back. Yeah. I hear you. Looking at Rachel, uh, Rachel Chantel's mentions, people are so cruel. I'm personally proud of you, Rachel. Very proud. genuine and honest. Pray, genuine. That's what prayers the, for you. That's what the news was saying. Headline news. Fucking all those uh, MSNBC. She's so real. She's authentic. What does that mean? They real. They literally are these fucking cowards. Yes. Won't criticize a black person. It's so bizarre. If that was a white girl, let's just say it's a white girl, nineteen year old white girl. She gets up on the stand, and and sounded that ignorant. They would speculate that she had mental problems. And they would absolutely talk about like, oh, mm. that didn't go well because uh, you know she Look. she didn't have a command of the English language. She she didn't understand the questioning. She what? But she's black, so they're like, she's keeping it real. Well, we got we Ugh. we definitely got a couple uh, black people that are keeping it real with their tweets. Yeah. This uh, black woman, she writes, Rachel Chantel is a disgrace to us. I'm appalled at her co controversial testimony. I'm, I'm praying the truth prevails. Oh. And then a black guy. Uh, before I hung up the phone, I would have told Rachel Chantel not to testify. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. Uh, uh. Star witness. Another black uh, person here. Uh, George Zimmerman's lawyer tried to destroy the credibility of the prosecution's star witness, Rachel Jantel. Jenny Hutt's an idiot. Yeah, you oh, is she a dummy? What did she say? She Would was like on headline her, news. She's, Dr. she's Drew. becoming a star with Dr. Drew. Dr. Drew, Who's and she's Jenny? rambling on. Babbling? What a fucking henna-headed dope she is. <laughs> <laughs> what did she say? Uh, you found it? Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, great. <laughs> Jenny Hutt. Yeah, Jenny, Jenny Hutt. Thank you. So, listen, I loved this witness. I loved her oh for the prosecution, God. and here's why. I believed her. I watched her today <laughs> as though I were a juror at home, and I felt like she was without guile. She was just there to do the right thing today. If I guile is education, then you're right. <laughs> prior. I felt like she was there telling the truth. I felt, I felt her emotion, and I felt like she was a kid when this went down. She's still a kid and frankly there are funerals that i haven't shown up to because it was too much for your me career to here as a 43 year old grown woman this she's only 43 so oh much. my god and look at her so composed being there uh, to be That's a horrible. witness in this trial I, I think she perhaps is a little naive and a little innocent in life what and i just i believe her and i think the jury will too well we're gonna break no, her they These won't are real people she's not yep. a professional we're gonna see oh, some expert right. witnesses that get paid Can to I ask testify you a question? This is a teenager. Was, I think quick, the there women is truth to that. Like sometimes, her being uncomfortable or talking low, that didn't bother me. Because again, fine, she's right. not used to doing this. Exactly. She's in a murder trial on television. She wants to go home. She knows she's a exactly. big fatso. <laughs> but it, it was some of the shitty, the lying. It was the attitude, man. And the lying. Right. Yeah, let's stick to the facts. You can't lie in a deposition in a fucking murder trial, especially if you're 18 or 17. Yes. You can't. And, she's not nine. And and the uh, another thing is, yes, the prosecution's job is to prepare that person for the stand like that. Mm. Prepare that person, uh, 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 whether they're a teen or not. There are very fucking amazingly brave children, she's six sure. and seven year olds, but two that have testified in in court and done an amazing job. She's not prepared uh, at that. Um. I want to read a couple more of these tweets. People Please. are really mean for bashing Rachel Jantel, and majority of the people doing it are black, and that's a black lady. Oh, I did yeah. see a lot of black people uh, beating bashing the crap her? out of her, too, yes. Just now watching Rachel Jantel's testimony, she's still being questioned by the prosecution. I feel she's very credible at this point. <laughs> yeah, she's incredible. <laughs> Unbelievable. How do people... What are they watching? You can't look at her and be like, well, that's what the prosecution needs the jury to see. That witness. Uh, Mr. Perry on Twitter, black guy, says, one last thought. I blame that whole being Rachel, ghetto, ignorant movement, not Rachel Jantel if Zimmerman walks free. Huh? There's some punctuation in there. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out. Uh, all right. Uh, Rachel Jantel's appearance is a step too far, but lying under oath, her 
inarticulate, hostile showing <laughs> compromises the Zimmerman trial. That's a black guy, too. Yeah, it does. Uh, y'all y'all going to let Rachel Jontel make it? The girl is, is in high school. She keeps it real. She's tired. Keeps it <laughs> real. Is keeping it real in the black community sounding like an ignorant motherfucker? Not having no command of the English language? It, being belligerent? To any authority figure, is that keeping it real, you fucking idiots? We got a black woman. She tweeted, "It bothers me that those on CNN are bothered by Rachel Jantel saying cracker, but Paula Dean admits to using the N word frequently." But Thirty bothered, years ago. But that, but that bothered people. What do you mean? Like, why is she saying they, they are? Uh, they were outraged that Paula G Dean said nigger. They fired her. Of she lost every sponsor because she admitted saying it. Thirty. What are you talking She's about? She's losing sponsors as we speak. They're throwing her out of everything. Mm -hmm. Rachel Chantel, a.k.a. Precious, made me so freaking hot today. She proves why education is necessary for our youth. She was ridiculous. Black woman. There you go. Uh, another black woman. Maybe Rachel Chantel was having difficulty reading on the stand. She's <laughs> returning to 12th grade at the age of 19. What would you expect? <laughs> See, I mean, yeah. So, the, the, the you know... Keith Robinson hated it. I saw Keith. Oh, did he? Really? I saw Keith. He was the first one I heard call her precious. That made me laugh. Oh, God. My God God damn it. I God saw him at the saw last God. night. He's like, oh, that bitch bugs me. He was really a man. Bugs me. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of people don't like her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For that reason. Yeah. A black woman. I'm just about done here. Unacceptable to attack Rachel Chantel. She's a young girl in an awful situation without the skills to cope and manage it gracefully. Mm. There's this inability by the white media, especially mainstream media, white people, to criticize a black person. And then when you, they're a, a, a girl and a teen, there's this thing like you all, you can only make excuses for them. And then you get someone like Jenny Hutt, oh, who Jenny is so Hutt. blinded by <laughs> white guilt, I would assume, that she can't even see that this witness was completely... Uh, uh, awful for the prosecution. Get her on the phone. Yeah, let's talk to her. Today. Get her on the phone. Yes, please. She looks good on TV, though. I'll say that. Yeah, Jenny like, looks really good on she TV. She looks good on TV. She does. She looks great, actually, yeah. on, on Dr. Drew's show. She looked really hot. And she's becoming a thing for uh, Dr. Drew. Good, good for, for her. her. Yeah, I'm happy for her. Uh, now that she doesn't have to deal with the, the Stewarts. Yeah. <laughs> Those, uh... <clears throat> <laughs> Let's see. A defense attorney wants in here. Let's say hi to uh, Joe in Connecticut. Joe, how are you? Hi, Joe. Sir? Good morning, guys. I just wanted to give you some insight uh, from a practicing attorney here dealing with... Well, get it right, Joe. Oh, all right. Sorry, all right. Practicing. <laughs> Let me tell you what's going to happen today. So you guys watch this. All right. They're going to prep They're gonna prep her to be very emotional and very soft-spoken and slow. That's mm. going to be the key to the entire thing. So she's going to come out very slow, very... As as elegant as she can speak, but she's going to also be very emotional and sad and maybe even tearful. Uh -huh. The key for the defense attorney is going to be to turn sadness into anger, which is a very fine line. Uh -huh. That's going to change everything. Now, watch when it happens, and she is going to snap. And that Komodo dragon neck is going to absolutely. <laughs> go. I think this guy's absolutely right. I think uh, they're going to look at what was effective yesterday and what people thought was effective, and her emotion right. at that one part where she's talking about the funeral that was effective. Right. They're going to want to capitalize on that, get more of those moments. But she is incapable uh, of holding that for any length of time. And I just want to tag what he's saying. I we were all waiting for that moment yesterday. It was almost there. The, almost the what? And what? Today you get the moment. Today you get it. You're going to get something amazing today. It might take a while, but you watch. Is the guy still on the phone? Yes. Hey, I, I think that uh, to, to the defense... Oh, no, he just hung up. Oh, unfortunately. shit. Oh. I, 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 I think she's going to do a better job than people think today hmm. because they had her last night, and, and I think that... Uh, and I, when I say had her, you know, it's like... I'm not saying I understand why she's upset. Of course, you know she didn't ask me to put in this place. Uh huh. But I mean, uh, I, I think that she'll be much better prepared today. And, I, and I'm telling you, I think the defense attorney's instincts were right. But I think that uh, he's a dope uh, in, on some level. Uh huh. And I think that she will be a much better witness for them today. Well, I, here's here's something you, that you might have missed. Also, when he said we'd like to um, recess until tomorrow, uh, the prosecution 
wanted to continue. Yes. Now, why would the prosecution want her to keep continuing when she was right on the verge of fucking blowing up? Because I think the prosecution was hoping to finish the testimony to today get and get it over with. Uh, yeah. I don't think the prosecution uh, even saw a couple more hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wanted to get it done with. I, right. I okay. disagree. I don't think you could pre prepare her properly, no. and there's, it's going to get ugly today. I think at the beginning, you're going to see exactly what that guy yeah. that just called but it's up gonna, You're going to see it unravel. Right. And, I, <laughs> I I, and I'm wait. telling you, we're going to have that moment today yeah, yeah, that yeah. we all sort of were hoping for yesterday. Sassy black woman. Something moment? that will be, yeah, one for the ages. That, that fucking <laughs> something. Wheelbarrow tire tube something. around her neck. She's going to go. Winnie Mandela mm. going to hold of her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Now we got Jenny Hutt on the phone. Jenny she, Hutt. She's now, um, I don't know, she's like a slave for fucking Dr. Drew or something. Dr. Now. Drew. She's on the little panel there yeah. on uh, Headline News. Yeah. Oh. And uh, she was talking last night about the Trayvon Martin uh, Zimmerman don't, trial. Don't tell her. Let's what? just go cold. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jenny. Hi, guys. For hi, Colin Quinn. How are you? Hi, Jenny. How are you? How are you? We're very happy that you got this gig with Dr. Drew, by the way. I know, but you're upset with me. Over what? No, you look good on TV, by the witness. way. You look good on you TV. You did look pretty good. Thanks, guys. Got to be honest. Okay. Thank you. That's very Not bad. Your hair, your hair was lustrous. <laughs> is that your nice? Is that your natural color? Not anymore. Uh oh. Why would anyone choose to be a redhead? You were that. I, would, I wouldn't. I mean, I was born a redhead, but I'm an old. It lady looks good now. though. You still red? You still red down there? Yeah, I'm not, thankfully. Well, first of all, there isn't much down there. Nice. Oh, what? Whoa. You got Whoa. that fucking, what do you got, the mange? Is it, listen, in today's world, how many women have much there? I don't know. True, true. Yeah. A woman of your age, though, you'd think you'd just let it grow in at that point. Do you, do you, <laughs> clean, up, do you clean up the butthole, though? Oh. Yes, are you kidding me? <laughs> wow. Oh. There's nothing there. That's not, yes, I've been lasered. <laughs> Ass. Oh, you've been lasered. Jenny's a ass? fucking trooper, man. You lasered yeah. your ass? Yes. God bless. Oh, fucking Did that great. hurt? Yeah, uh, yeah, that hurt. But the underarms hurt the worst. You know what that means? I mean, she, she had some little ass play going on. Yeah, she. Why else, why else, no, 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 I don't. I don't why like else would a girl well. want it because to be? Because for doggy style, they want it to look <laughs> good. <laughs> Is that I it? Do. Yes. All right, Carl. <laughs> Colin, Colin actually met my husband. I, Colin, remember backstage oh. at the Jerry Seinfeld? Tea party? <laughs> oh, name dropping. What's Colin his name? Quinn. No, no, no. You would have to show it. Colin doesn't realize that he knows me because we've met a bunch of times recently. That but, doesn't um, look He's looking at your picture. And oh, there's I not even... Oh. Huh? <laughs> go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Anyway, go ahead. He, he doesn't know you. Anyway, go on. Jenny. He doesn't know who you are. Know you. Anyway, <laughs> Jenny, he doesn't know who you are. Know. <laughs> There's a picture of you two right in front of his face. Colin, I do know him. There's like, no uh, recognition. That event. There's no recognition whatsoever in Colin's face. It was a Jerry Seinfeld. It was like... um. Oh. Yeah, it's at the Jerry Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> has no idea. Four. Oh, like wow. I remember it was for it was a stand-up for cancer. Indeed. Oh, yeah, but he doesn't remember meeting yes. you. He remembers the event. <laughs> Didn't right, you hear whatever. what he just did there? He was yeah. trying to help you. He remembers the cancer. Yeah. Because he's a nice guy. <laughs> okay. So your take on this star witness uh, surprised all of us here at the Opie and Anthony really show. Really did. We, looked, thought. we thought we were looking at a dummy. She was terrible, Jenny. <sighs> Listen, I don't think she... Do I think she's a, a super smarty pant person? No, but I, I don't think she was calculating. How... Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. Yes. How did you? Noxious. How did you think that was a good witness for the prosecution? How would you think a jury would look at this girl and go, "Yes, this is what we're looking for," as far as the prosecution having having to uh, uh, convey to us that there was uh, some type of a murder uh, going on that evening? How did that help the prosecution? Well, I don't I think what the prosecution is going to ultimately prove isn't that it was, it, this was not a first degree murder situation. No, it was wasn't a, second either. <laughs> this was, this was that, in my opinion, that Zimmerman oh, yeah. didn't like the look of Trayvon and Zimmerman was tracking him and following him and then Trayvon fought back and then Zimmerman shot him. Can, can I ask you a question though? Like you were on Dr. Drew's show and like I said, you look good, but why, um, what? like why, why do you, it's almost like you're spinning it to keep to, to keep with the narrative. Like, when you're talking about this girl being a good witness for the prosecution, she was terrible. Horrid she was caught witness. lying under oath. She was caught well, within... She was caught, lying, she was caught lying in one of the depositions. That's still a lie. Yeah. Because I understand that, but I think she didn't want it. She, she, 
I feel like she's having a hard time being there. She was the last person to speak to him. No, no Jenny, I, she... I, I, I'm not trying to interrupt you. I apologize. And I do know that. But what I mean is when you're on Dr. Drew and you're saying, I thought she was a good... Why is the press or anybody in the press keeping with this narrative? She was an awful prosecution witness, well, even if you all, believe her. on that show, I don't keep with anyone else's perspective. I keep with my own. In okay. any of the other cases rebel. that we oh, talked oh. about... <laughs> the Red Rebel, they call her. <laughs> the Red Rebel. All right, easy there. Easy, Jenny. I'm just chatting. I'm sorry. Listen, I'm aware that it's not the popular opinion oh. with many people. But What? I'm Yours I, is the popular opinion. Yours I, is the opinion on every fucking the no, mainstream with news. With the press, not with the people with the press. With, with the, the tweet press. of the, the tweet of the night goes to Anthony when he said the jury. She thought it was what she was wearing. Wearing in her ears. <laughs> uh, what's I that? Like I, I gotta address the like jury. It. I like that Anthony yeah. said, "Holy shit, Jenny!" I laughed. I laughed. <laughs> I liked it. Do you hear what I said? Well, oh no, what, Chip. Chipper. She looks zooted. She didn't look zooted. She didn't look zooted at all. What are you talking about? Jenny, I just don't think she was a good witness for the prosecution. That's the well, bottom let's, line. You well, said she was. This is, listen, this is the first. This, this is like the third day of the trial today, I think. Yeah. And, and we'll see how it keeps going. I think there's going to be a lot huh. of. Uh, there were going to be many witnesses brought, and we're going to see what the timeline was and what was right. And let's see if she gets impeached. Now, even let's your. Really even Maybe. your 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 quick synopsis of what happened, uh, what you believe happened, whatever it is, um, uh, that even isn't murder, too, you know. Well, let's murder see also? What, yes, let's murder see. also. <laughs> let's see what the judge's instructions are ultimately to the jury, and let's see how it plays out. I'm not sure that he's going to get convicted, but I do think that there was an I, I can't imagine that you guys don't think there was some element of racist something or other. No, I don't see any racial... Uh, uh, the only racial thing I see here on Zimmerman's part yeah. is that... Every time he's called the cops, the description has been a black male because that's who's been breaking into the fucking houses over there. Right. So why wouldn't you then think another black male walking in the neighborhood could be suspicious, might want to find out where they're going, keep an eye on them while you call the police? And, and as you know, every murderer calls the cops and then tells them where you are at every minute. Uh, uh, that's the only racial element is that perhaps... George was doing some profiling, but why has profiling become this bad word? If if if, if you walk by uh, a goddamn pit bull every day and it bites you, aren't you going to look at pit bulls a little different? That's that. that's all I'm saying. Yeah, I understand that, and I I, I totally value your perspective. Of course My you do. The concern is that when the cops told him to back down. The cops never told That's him true. to back down. A, 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 a non-emergency non police operator said, are you following him? He said, yes. He then said, we don't need you to do that. That instruction was given for the safety of George Zimmerman, period. We don't need you to do that. Doesn't mean stand down. It doesn't mean he continued stalking. And by the way, the very next word on the tape is George Zimmerman going, okay. So where is this stalking and pursuit? You're continuing this bullshit narrative that the press started with and is continuing with, even though the facts of this case are completely contrary to uh, every fake uh, 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 racist, uh, race-baiting uh, story that the news is putting out there. Well, this is what I'll say. I I'll say that I hope that the system works in this trial, and I hope that whatever truth is, the actual truth comes out, and I hope the right thing happens. Jenny, I do believe you and the rest of mainstream media will be culpable to any riots that happen because of an acquittal, because because the layman that watches the news on this case, if there's an acquittal, will sit there and go, how the fuck was he acquitted when all this evidence is against him? Because they're not reporting the evidence, they're reporting the fake story that they got from day one, and and not they're not telling the people that need that need to know that he was justified in a self defense shooting. You're not telling the people. So then when they acquit him, they're gonna go, Oh, oh, why did they acquit the stalker that chased him when the police police told him to stand down? Jenny Hutt. Last night there wasn't anyone on the panel who was who was 
taking your perspective, but there have been. So but if Jenny, you keep watching, you'll oh see there are some boy. journalists who come on saying that. This, this is the mentality we're in. This is the, the me. And again, I know you're just doing your gig, but like they you dumped out great. of the words. You, you look, look, you you look, look terrific. They I dumped. Mean, you guys have to look terrific. I know I'm going to hang up. Jenny, no, no, no. You no, look terrific. You look good. No, you look terrific on HD, too, which is very difficult yes. for a lot of people don't look good in high definition. You looked really good. Bring this up on Dr. The makeup Drew's girl show. should get a huge raise. She should. Yeah. <laughs> She's a true artist. That's spackle, baby. What? Bring, bring this up on Dr. Drew. <laughs> How the press dumps out of the, the words. Red Rebel. They, Red they, Rebel. they dump Look out, out of the words. Look out. Nigga. And they dump out of the word cracker. Yes. Because it was reported right. that Trayvon said it. But when the word Wait, coon. Hold on. No, no, hold on, hold on. Listen, let me finish. I'm talking about the people. Let me finish. I'm talking about the people you work for and how Anthony is saying that the media is culpable. They dump those words because it was reported that Trayvon Martin said it. But when 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 uh, when they couldn't stop saying coon. When they thought that Zimmerman said it, they said Kuhn over and over because it was reportedly coming from George Zimmerman. Right. But when it looked like Trayvon said something racist, the fucking press dumped it. Or if they say it, they dismiss they do it quickly. It's like, hey, we said it. Yeah. But really, it's not. Yeah. Well, so, I think because the, the skew here in that way is trying to not blame the victim and so i but think that, but not blame the victim just being honest about what was said this is a court transcript I think exactly i think the press at large in that way doesn't want to the, the kid is dead so he can't you, 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 listen, but the, you, you listen what you're doing you're justifying why they're dumping out of language on cable tv during a trial well there should be nothing off limits that's, as far as language goes in that sickening. context. That is the one context the that everyone should agree you should let any language fly. It's a, it's right. a news program. It's a it's trial. It's real. Indeed, yeah. I agree. Any trial. It's true. true. Jenny, what yes. we suggest is you, you drop a few N-bombs tonight in front of Dr. <laughs> Drew. Yeah, <laughs> you should. Let's spice really this well. shit up a little yeah. bit. Yeah. All right? I want to approach yeah. Ritz. Yeah. I want to approach R the Ritz company with uh, creepy ass crackers. Nice. Wouldn't that be good? Really you good put a little cheddar question. on it. I would like. Mm. Question, have you guys talked to Paula Dean yet? We're, we're, We'd well, love if to you get off her. the phone, we'll be able to start talking <laughs> Paula Dean. <laughs> That's where to go. That was our next topic. Yeah, shouldn't you be in makeup by now? Yeah. <laughs> what time's the show? What time's the show, Jenny? On Twitter at Jenny. No, no, no. What, Jenny? All kidding aside, what do you got on Paula Dean? I, I, I don't think she is a huge fan of the African Americans, and I, I feel bad for her that there's so that she's lost everything in her life. But yeah, I don't it's think silly. She handled this because she said because she may have said I, nigger I, thirty years yeah, ago. Yeah, she said she told the truth, Jenny. You're right. She didn't Amazing. handle it correctly. She should have lied. Yeah, you got to no, lie. She should have lied. I think yesterday when she was on the Today Show and she said that she's used the yes, N word on one the time show. in her whole life. I that's a lie. Yeah. That. That's of course that's, that's the a day lie. Before yesterday, have show. you ever used it in your life? I, that's not a word I use. No, no, no. I didn't say that. Oh, that's Have never. you ever said it? No, in I don't. Not, no. I mean, I, I don't believe anyone that says no. Anyone that says they Sean never Hattie said it in did their the life same is fucking lying. thing on our show. You're lying. Yeah, lying. Some people never used it. I can see some people. I'm not saying me. Never I'm just, said it. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm not me. Saying, I'm, I'm not even saying used it. Hey, listen. There's a difference between using it and I saying never, it. I never used it, but I can't speak for this guy. <laughs> <laughs> the 19-year-old Colin Young Quinn. Carl. You look good. You look like fucking, um, what's his face there from uh, the 70s show? Young Carl put up numbers. <laughs> you got you, Young you put Carl. up numbers. I'm going to go, guys. I do use the word cracker a lot. Bye, yeah, yeah. Good talking to you. All right, Jenny. Bye, everybody. Congrats Bye. on the, the gig, for real.